Hey and welcome to another tutorial about the meta balls inside Photoshop. We have everything in place so I thought that we can continue with the tutorial very quickly and adding uh, some kind of animation so we don't have to move those meta balls manually just using our mouse but we can play the animation and maybe you know export this animation and save it somewhere else. So we have everything in place. What I was thinking, maybe we can do a, like a grid of smaller circles and then have you know, bigger ones moving around. So we can, let's start with a smaller circle. The immediate thing which comes to mind is just uh, hit the control key to resize this to be smaller size, maybe like 40% or so. What you will notice is we have very harsh edge about uh, around this uh, edge of this uh, meta ball, while you know the bigger ones have a nice outline. If we try to set the levels to be a little bit more spread away, we get a little bit nicer looking edge around here, around, around the small, but the bigger ones are getting blurred, so it's not the way how to do it. We should actually do it a little bit different way, and that is to fade the meta ball itself to make it lighter. So I move it away a little bit and apply a new effect, which would be the brightness and contrast. And I will set the use legacy, which will just add to a certain value to every pixel and increase the brightness until I'm satisfied with the size of the dot. So I will maybe make it like this. Then I will select everything that is the meta ball layer and the brightness and the curves. Move it maybe here, hide everything else and I will duplicate it several times. And for this I will use uh, press the alt key and shift key and move it maybe by, I don't know, 160 or so. Maybe 160 is fine. So I will move it again 160 and one more time maybe I will fit it one okay then I will group everything together call it a grid and duplicate it several more times I will probably use the same spacing of 160 pixels okay that should be it for the grid now we can show one of the meta balls and we can try to move it around the grid like this so it snaps to each circle so let's start in here open the timelines pane and in here we will create a new video timeline so click this locate the light, right layer which is the meta ball 3 in our case in my case so I'll try to find it in here it's meta ball 3 and for this we need to be sure that we want to change the position so I will uh, set the position to be animated to have a timeline animation and just to make it easier I will probably stick to like every 15 frame move it to next dot you know jump 15 frames ahead move it maybe here and around the space so it's jumping between the individual circles I will tr probably try to do it in a way that the last keyframe will be same as the first one so it's looping nicely i have to double check where is the first one okay so it's second from the left can probably still move it up here left and to the first spot okay i can play this animation just when playing the animation make sure that the resolution is set to 100% so we can see the final output and if I play the animation you can see that the bigger dot is uh, jumping around the smaller dots around the grid just the way we want it it's a little bit slow that's not because the animation is slow but because you can see down here it's not playing the actual speed it's a little bit slower than the 30 fps we can use this render video function to render a video out but in this case it will be probably better to use a gif file and save it as a gif so i will use the well, old legacy save for web function i will select a gif and wait a minute or so until it's being uh, rendered just because we are using 16 bits per channel it has to be converted to 8 bits per channel so it takes few seconds actually it takes quite a lot of time and uh, by default you will see you will notice that the per perceptual whatever it's called uh, palette is giving us a little bit of blue tint on the background it may be not be obvious from this video but if i select this background color and open the color picker here you can see it a little it's a little bit blue and we actually don't want this to be blue we want to be uh, fully white 
while we can change this color here the easier thing to do is just to change the color palette to be grayscale that way everything is going from white to full black the last thing we need to do is change looping options to be looping forever we can preview the animation and save a gif file and that's it if you are interested in getting the psd file the photoshop file i will put the link in the description of this video thanks for watching